but i would say if you are interested in studying australia don't just stick to a uh, university 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 i think you could go to a TAF institution it is cheaper if you're interested in studying in australia this is the video for you or if you have someone that is interested then keep on watching hi guys hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is lola if you're seeing me for the very first time welcome if you're a returning subscriber a round of applause for you to welcome back to my youtube channel so uh today's video is going to be a very quick and short video about uh, i'm doing a series on my channel about uh studying in australia so if you'd be interested in videos like that if you'd like to see more of that then do click on the subscribe button also click on the notification bell next to it so you're the first to know every time i upload a new video i upload new videos weekly yes so uh let's get right into it so go through my channel and see things i'm sure there'll be one video that interests you yeah so watch my videos and then you can come back and watch this so if you're interested in studying in australia this is the video for you or if you have someone that is interested then keep on watching so let's get right into the video okay okay so today i'll be talking about the top 10 tafe um in Australia so top 10 TAFE institution in Australia TAFE in Australia here stands for technical and further education so this is where people that are interested in technical um, courses go so technical courses like uh, ranging from I don't know they have a wide range of courses that you can if you want to become a plumber an electrician a, a welder or even a nurse an accountant aviation related courses they also have management courses also accounting and all things like that is available in the TAFE institution here in Australia so Australia boasts of 59 uh, different uh, TAFE uh, institutions all over Australia so how it works is each region has its own uh, technical and further education institution so there are eight regions in Australia so for example New South Wales has a TAFE New South Wales, Tasmania as TAS TAFE, uh, Victoria as its own, Queensland or uh, Melbourne, places like that, they all have their own TAFE, uh, like, like specific to them. So they have branches in different parts of Australia. So uh, it is the largest education and training sector here in Australia and it is government funded. It is a government, uh, will I say... It's a government funded institution or organization. So that means it's legit and it is, uh, so TAFE, uh, let me try and explain what TAFE is. So you know the way, uh, if you're Nigerian, there's, Aust uh, there's university, right? The thing next, right, like right under university is like polytechnics back in Nigeria. So TAFE is like your polytechnic. If you're not from Nigeria, anywhere in the world, I'm sure like in your country, there is like, a uh, university just below university there's something like uh whatever it is that is next below university that's what TAFE is here so it's mostly polytechnic in most places so you can call TAFE like polytechnic is just below university but the degree you get there is definitely recognized so if you are planning to study in australia you don't necessarily have to go to a university you could go to a TAFE institution it is cheaper and it is very uh intensive also because it's uh, the government that runs it and they don't joke with it so they have short courses ranging from three months but i don't think if you're coming as an international student you're coming to do a three month course because it's waste of money time and energy so they have short courses from three months all the way to two years or three years depending if you are like doing a diploma or something like that so without further ado oh, i hope my explanation has been helpful and uh let's get right into the top 10 i'm talking about the top 10 tafe in australia yes the top 10 TAFE. number one on that list is tafe new south wales uh tafe new south wales Hunter institute number yeah. two is brisbane tafe yes it links in the description box below so guys please check that out also i would say what i always say disclaimer google is your friend go online do your research find out what course you want to study where you'd like to live before you make decisions about where you want to study yes and also yeah you have to know what course you want to study first so first as i said is tafe new south wales Hunter institute number two is brisbane tafe 
please sorry about the noise i'm hoping it's not coming through ah uh, so number two is brisbane tafe it's located in brisbane number three is gold coast institute that is number three in Australia. Australia. Number four is Adelaide Institute of Business and Technology. It's located in Adelaide. Number five is Tastef. Tastef is located in Tasmania. It's a tiny island at the bottom of the map of Australia. Yes. Uh, number six is Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology. TAFE Division. So Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology TAFE Division. That is number six. Yes. Number seven is South Metropolitan Tape. Uh, number seven is North Metropolitan Tape. Uh, Jundop, uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. So North Metropolitan, Metropolitan Tape is number eight. That's a mouthful. Uh, number nine is Gordon Institute, Victoria. So number nine is Gordon Institute, Victoria. It's located in Victoria. And lastly, number 10 is Tape, Queensland, which is located in I Queensland. Here we so have it. Those are the top 10 TAFE institutes here in Australia. So uh, I believe it, um, links in the description box. So you guys should definitely check it out and see which one interests you, what you like. And uh, definitely feel free to leave me questions in the comment section. I am more than happy to answer your questions. And also TAFE is a government uh, funded or government uh based university uh, <laughs> so TAFE is a government uh will i say funded uh organization here in australia so it is accredited and is recognized nationally recognized by the australian government so i would say you don't necessarily have to go to a university here in australia to get a good job so universities as we know are expensive but if you decide to go to a TAFE or technical and further education institute uh, you would still be able to get a diploma degree that you'd be able to use to work because TAFE is um, it's nationally recognized. It is accredited by the Australian government, by the educational board. It would, it is, it has its own perks, which I would uh, talk about in my subsequent videos. So I would say if you're interested in studying in Australia, don't just stick to uh, university, university, university. I know, yeah, bachelor's degree is nice, master's and everything, but also consider um, doing a technical course or going into the TAFE because uh, they have tons and tons of uh, courses, guys. They have a whole lot of courses ranging from accounting, aviation, nursing, uh, business related courses. So there are so many courses you can study here, like I said earlier. And, um, I would say do your research definitely you need to do your research and decide what course you want to study where you'd like to live to decide what TAFE you'd like to go to if you decide end up deciding to go to a TAFE institution as an international student yes so there are so many things to consider and uh, i'll say don't just jump into it do your research google would be your best friend throughout this process do your research check online maybe join forums to see uh what people are saying and uh, find out more information. So I'm more than happy to answer your questions. So leave questions in the comment section, leave me suggestions of videos you'd like to see in this series, what I should uh, talk about and things like that. So definitely, definitely consider TAFE. You do not have to go to a university here to get a good job. You could go to TAFE and still end up with a very good job at the end of the day. You'd get diploma, uh, a diploma degree and uh, who knows, you might get a job in the same place where someone that went to university went to yeah because TAFE is uh it's highly regarded here in australia yes because it's a government i feel like i've said that a million times at this point but it's a government uh based institution and you can do short courses professional courses there also so i would say definitely look into that and uh that is all yes 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 uh, i hope this video has been helpful to someone out there yes uh leave me questions below if you have any question i'm more than happy to answer your question if you're planning on studying here in Australia, I would say definitely check out to see and make sure the institutions you are going to are accredited. There's something called CRICOS here. Australia it stands for Commonwealth Register of Institution and Courses for International Students. And uh, it is very important for you to check that. But I believe all TAFE institutions here in Australia are CRICOS registered or they, they have their registration number and they are approved by the australian government so you don't want to come here and spend money 
and then your course is not uh, recognized because you went to a school that is not uh how will i say it that is not 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 legit that is not recognized by the australian government or the australian educational body so you want to do your research i'll be talking more about this current video so you guys should definitely check out and um like you guys should definitely watch out for those videos because i'll be talking about uh how to go about the whole process the registration how to check how to go on the website to check for your course and uh make sure your university or your college is on that list so you are not going to a school that is not registered yes thank you all so much for watching that brings us to the end of this video it is short and quick just trying to give you all the information as always so if you've not subscribed to my channel yet and you've watched to this point come on guys i'm giving you good information detailed information here you want to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video because there'll be more videos in this series like share comment share this video with someone that you think might uh be interested in studying in australia you don't know maybe there's someone out there so share my videos with them or subscribe yes just kindly subscribe and I would see you guys in my next video. Yes. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Mwah.